Hey everybody, it's Uncle Scott. Welcome back to the Quirky Reacts channel. And I told you it was coming. I predicted that this would happen this week. I did not lie. Uh, you asked for her back a while ago, and then we've been so busy that we just haven't had a chance to make this happen. So, without further ado, let's bring her back, guys. Crystal is back. Hi, guys. <laughs> Thank you for uh, being willing to uh, work the schedule out so we could do this again. Yeah, well, no, one hundred percent. I was looking forward to it, and like I was asking you before, because I'm like, dude, I want to listen to more Ren. I've been avoiding going through his like Spotify thing because I'm like, I know you want to show me more. Come on now. See, like that's the crazy thing is I'm over here trying to create Renegades, and I'm holding Renegades off by being like, <laughs> no, don't listen to his Spotify yet. I got to show it to you. <laughs> That's, there's something backwards here. I have screwed this up somehow. Um, well, we'll just have to record a bunch of them, and then I'll space them out for when I uh, put them on YouTube, and that way you'll be able to listen to everything. Yeah. Um, I'm actually starting with a newer of his songs with you to me today. It's not a newer song for him, but it's a newer song for me. I just heard it for the first time like two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Uh but it's kind of tight. I think you'll really enjoy it. Uh, it's called Seven Sins. Uh, let me uh, get you up here with it. There you go. Seven Sins. And it's a lyric video. So that's another cool thing is you'll be able to understand everything he's saying because you'll be able to see it. Uh, oh, I will I will say just so that we don't have to pause it right away when it happens. The first part he's singing is actually in or that he has a choir singing, I think. I can't remember. It's in Welsh. So that's why because oh. he's from Wales. Uh, but so you'll you'll get that right away. I think you'll dig. I think you'll dig. I won't. Everybody. Get, like I said, everybody gets mad at me for you. Stay going to yell that in the comments. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. I know. Just press play, Scott. I know. Um <laughs> Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to press play on this. Remember, if there's something, Crystal, you want me to like stop and you want to talk about real quick, don't hesitate to raise your hand. Uh, if not, I will probably stop it at least once. For all of the, those of you in the comments who are like, you don't need to do that with Ren songs, I know that's what you think. It's just not true. The algorithm still snags you. So I do it that way just to make everybody's life easier so that I can publish these things when I want to and not have to wait until the copyright gets removed. Uh, which can sometimes take 30 days. So it's not a Ren problem. It's a platform problem. Anyway, mm. here we go. Ren, Seven Sins, official lyric video. Crystal's back, guys. Let's have some <laughs> fun. Here we go. What do you say? No idea. <laughs> oh my god! It's cool that he did his own choir. I like that. Yeah, it sounds good though, right? Mm -hmm. I uh, like that. That was amazing. I think all I know is that the last word is Ren. Just yeah, it says it right there. That's all I got. But man, we can look it up if anything. Yeah, some of those, <laughs> no, someone in the when I did the original video. They actually did the translation in the comments for me, which I thought was really nice. Unfortunately, I didn't remember to look at that right before I started talking to you, so I don't remember. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're the one smoking, and I'm the one that can't freaking remember things. <laughs> I'm just chilling here about my business, man. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I just want to hear some Ren. Just fucking play, Scott. Like, come on. All right, here we go. Here we go. I lay broken on the kitchen floor I clawed at the laminate Pain wandered my body An uninvited guest Bones of a home where the devil could rest I cursed the gods, cursed my messiah Cursed my maker, I cursed all of creation There I lay, feeble and thin Sick boy, sick boy, seven nights in Have you ever felt pain? Stomach wrenching, unrelenting Tell me, have you ever felt pain? Condescending, muscles clenching Tell me, have you ever felt pain? A rose emerges from the pavement cracks. I'll write my eulogy with broken glass. Eternal paralysis. Pain. 
Pain the author, I accept this Pain the teacher, bruised apprentice Pain was this thing, pain will come Pain the mother, I'm the son Pain that splits you, and too many hits you The dark and the light, I'll convert to one Pain that twists you, the heavens dismiss you The father, the ghost, and the holy son Body bags, body bags so a buck 30 in, I stopped it just because like, I mean, tell me what you thought. Just that whole sequence, like he just describing dealing with the pain, I thought was so dope. I love the way he's portraying that. Um, so like, you know, I do have like the few songs that I've, you've introduced to me like on Spotify. So him, so seeing the term sick boy, um like I know that that's like one of his albums yep. and like every time I'm like I think it's is it hunger or is it um I believe it is for hunger it might be I can check later but like uh I always seen that term so it's like is this also a part of this that would be a stupid question but is it also a part of the same like album as well yeah so this song seven sins is on the album sick boy and uh -huh. he has a, a song sick boy that's on the it's like the titular track for the album so okay. he also has a song sick boy the interesting thing here though is uh it didn't pop up when i just did that but he spells sick boy in what you just read as b-o-y and on mm -hmm. the album it's b-o-i and so I and which as we move on it'll get late it'll get referenced later in this video but I think there's a reason he put it as BOY at the beginning here cuz he's talking about how he was a sick boy like a, a a young boy who was dealing with all of this pain and everything else and he hadn't become the sick boy with the BOI yet which comes after he's able to like let out all this music and all this like it's his way uh, of dealing with the pain and the, the sickness and everything else. I, I think this is a complete off the dome theory. I don't like have evidence of it. I just noticed the different spellings and thought there's got to be a reason for that. Yeah, I that was going to bring that up because like I noticed that there is a different like spelling for it. But like for me, like at least for my generation, um, like we've always wrote like sick boy that way when we're trying right. to be like funny or, or whatever. But like, uh, I think in the past I've seen the term sick boy and people talking about Ren, but this was like before I knew who he was. Mm -hmm. so I'm like, what are y'all talking about? So I would kind of like, you know, keep going, keep it pushing to be real. Um, so I, uh, I wanted to touch on how like he was talking about how pain is a teacher and yeah. I'm like oh as someone that like like I just got out my therapy session so I was like I was just talking about how like I felt stuck but pain really taught me a lot of patience and resilience now in my life where it's like yeah, I spent like those years being in the hospital, hospitalized. Oh God, <laughs> hospitalized. <clears throat> and um, but like remembering like all of these things, I learned a lot of lessons through pain, whether that was physical or mental. And um, ah, uh, Jesus, it's a it's a random point, but it's like a lot of people tend to say that like, of pain is a very very good teacher. Because it gives you experience, but it also teaches you to just like, in my opinion, stay still hmm. and just feel for a yeah. moment where you have to cope. You have to just be like, okay, it's happening. There's nothing I can do right now until the meds kick in, until right. this stops, until this fit is over, whatever the situation might be for you individually. And I'm speaking more towards like people who can relate at home. Um, and it's like, it's, it's moments where it's like you, you go throughout life. And I think you and I were talking about this when we were hanging out last time where it's like you, it's a different experience and you realize you can't relate to others in that way because of like the type of pain that you've been through and the type of like, right. 
I guess, lessons you had to learn in separate ways, obviously. But my God, I think I'm interested the- to see like what else, what he was gonna say. Like, yeah. Well, what, we're gonna we're gonna play more of it. Just touching on what you just said, I think what uh, like one of the biggest things that pain taught me was like you're more resilient than you think you are. Like mm-hmm. you can learn to deal with certain pain and this is emotional or physical, then you can actually, you know, better yourself by understanding the parameters of your tolerance. And that's something you can't just decide. You have to experience it to, Mm -hmm. to understand it. Uh, Yeah. So I think that works. Like, I think both of what we're saying works for a lot of people on different levels. So. Yeah, I agree with you. It's, um, it's interesting because I feel like, I feel like in moments of pain, we always reach a point, um, depending on where you are in your life, where we go, I can't do this. Right. And it depends on, depending on what you mean by that depends on you, but it's like, where it's like the pain might be too much, but you still have to sit there and like deal with that pain and have to process it. And like, you know, I feel, and I think this kind of goes back to what we were talking about in high Ren where people do not know how to sit down with their feelings yeah. <laughs> and just be and like deal with it. And not to say like, get over it. And ah, like, no, no, no. It's more to be like, sit still. Experience. Be sad. Yeah. Be mad. Be angry. Be anxious in the moment. You'd be Feel amazed it first. How, how much you can get from just feeling like how yeah. much in- insight you can get from just like, being like, Hey, I feel this way. Let yourself feel the feelings and then process it a little bit. Be like, mm-hmm. Wait, why did I feel that way? Why did like when that person said you wear your hat funny, why did that bother me as much as it did or whatever it is? Like, yeah, I agree. It's, like, crazy. it's interesting. And I, I find it kind of funny how obviously for people who have physical pain, it is a lot harder for you to escape that. 100. All right. Like, it, it's you, it's physical. It's not emotional. But when it's emotional pain, people are real quick, real, real quick to be like, yeah, I don't, I don't even want to deal with it. And like, granted, I've been there, you know, when too much is happening at once, yeah. something happens and it's like another, it's like another rock on top of the mountain where it's like, why? You want to flick it off. Just like, shut up. I don't yeah. even want to think about you right now. But at the end of the day, it is so important to sit with your feelings. And I say this now, especially after everything that has happened and all the chaos that's happened within this month, it's so important to just be sad right now and reflect on what's going on in your life. And you and me can both relate to that, but it's just like in general for people at home, it's like, what will be the harm in you, let's say, crying a little bit? Yeah, I on your own. Of, it, yeah, I think a lot of people get pressure too from other people who say, "Well, I'm sick of dealing with your feelings," or "I'm sick of dealing with like," or "I don't want to deal with your feelings." Which, ironically, because hmm. they're processing their own. Like, right. It has absolutely nothing to do with you, and everything and to more do to with do them. with themselves. Exactly. Exactly. Like, <laughs> the funniest part about it. Uh, we ended up just saying that at the same time on my yeah. end so that was like so funny <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh um, god all right we're, we're, ar- we're already at 14 minutes and we're only a minute and a half into the video so we've got to keep uh, playing music or people yeah. really are gonna hunt me down so oh, uh, god. let's get back to more music but we'll keep the conversation going uh and actually when it comes to crystal you guys love how much she talks you love everything that she has to say so i think you just don't like it when I talk. I'm getting the <laughs> okay. Um, all right, here we go. Let's listen to some more uh, Seven Sins. All righty. The one pain that twists you, the heavens dismiss you, the father, the ghost, and the holy son. Body bags, body bags, body bagging me. Zip it up quicker, they things on B. I search for peace in the belly of a beast. Sick 
boy, sick boy, on a matter P.I. Running up a fever, following a leader. Wanna be me, huh? Grass isn't greener. Bright light, seizure, dynamite dealer. Dine at the table of the coroner, E top for 13 years and I've been feeling so stark. Lucky number 13, just my luck. Empires tumble, rubble and dust. The universe shrinks and the planets combust. In God we trust. God tied a noose to his neck and he walked to the edge and he jumped. Angels wept. I bear witness, watching the whole thing unfold from my bed A bed where I never deep rest, a bed where I'm always depressed A bed with a human oppressed, a bed for a tomb where I slept A bed in the room, it's a wound for this mess Sick boy, bitten by a tick boy, tell me how it feels to be buried while you breathe Stones and sticks boy, pain is a gift boy Hard to make a stand when you crawl on your knees and I kneel I kneel at the altar of my own disease and I beg I beg this guy for mercy, mercy never came I dipped me dirty, 33 and hurting Cursing Jesus died at 33 and still my sins are lurking Gears are turning, future stays uncertain Surgeon incision, murder ambition Fear of the unknown preserves a religion Denounce the gods when my body went missing bah. This song is so fire, bro! Oh, it's so relatable! Oh my god, wait! It's like... Oh. It's so fire. I cannot it, get enough of this song. God damn it. And Jesus. you haven't even heard my favorite part yet. I'm telling you. this. Anyway, I, that yo, guy, that uh, part alone is already like, wow. Like I'm sitting here like, okay, the first part, there wasn't too much to go off of, but I knew we were go about to dive into like chronic illness. For sure. Because we're right. talking about pain, 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 pain. And it didn't sound like we're just talking about like, ah, my heart was broken. I've been betrayed kind of pain. It's like my body is not well something right. is terribly wrong oh jesus listen i've done a lot of crying this weekend <laughs> right i like i'm trying <laughs> you've, done, you've done so much crying you don't realize oh. it's tuesday it's not even the yeah no anymore. literally like I'm, oh my fucking god <laughs> oh my god so i'm like jesus just to <laughs> Bro, uh, I really feel for him. I, I've never, I've never had seizures, seizures in my life. Okay, so I can't relate there. And I genuinely feel for those who do. That shit does not look fun. It looks exhausting. I cannot imagine what someone goes through when stuff like that is happening and what's going through your mind. That must be fucking terrifying. So it's like, my heart goes out to everyone who's watching that goes through stuff like that. And even if it's not seizures and say it's just chronic pain, undiagnosed or diagnosed, I don't care. Like, I want you to know as someone that is not diagnosed, yes, I see you. Cause that type of pain, cause like when he's talking about you're, you go to the altar, you're begging to God, bro. Please take this away from me. Like heal me, bro. It feels, it's interesting how he's like talking about like 33 and I'm still carrying all these sins. It's like, bro, please let me go kind of thing. And it's depressing. And, and I, I know that like every time we have conversations like this, I feel like we end up taking a toll where it's like, it gets super real. So like right. uh, trigger warning to those who are sensitive to like death and stuff like that. But it's like, when you're chronically ill, and and Ren, we've talked about it before. He was in a state where he didn't know what the fuck was going on. He knew something was wrong, but we had no idea what it was, what was right. causing the issue. That type of mental turmoil is so exhausting. Like, yeah. and I say that because as some, I still haven't been diagnosed. I've had surgeries and stuff to fix things, but I haven't, they don't know what's wrong with me. And it's crazy to me to like, as somebody that's like going through all this pain and they see it and it's like physical, they, they it's not like they're, they know, you know what I mean? It, it shows on my charts and stuff. And you still can be like, you know how hopeless yeah. that is? It, it makes you feel like, yo, am I alone in this? Am I stupid? Is it me? Maybe I'm not sick. Maybe I'm bugging. Like that was my thought process at least. Cause it was like, there was too many moments where I felt like I was almost like gaslighting myself. Mm. Cause in my head, if the doctors couldn't find out what was wrong with me, but I'm going through all this pain. I'm like, yo, maybe it really is in my head. Maybe I'm bugging bro. But then the physical symptoms. So like, 
you know, like trigger warning again, you know, like vomiting and stuff like that. Like when those symptoms would hit me, I'm like, okay, this can't be, it can't be, it can't be like fake, right? right. But then it's, it's like, it's not, it's not psychosomatic. It's really happening. Yeah, bro. But then it's still like you go to the doctors and they still can't find nothing wrong with you yeah. or they can't find the right answer. Well, like, and, then, you, they, oh, and you don't even Jesus. know this, but Ren's actually sick again. Yeah, so, no, I remember you telling me. Oh, okay, yeah. So he's like, oh my God. he's he's back getting treatment. I mean, with him, at least they think they know what the problem is. They're just trying to figure out how to get the medication to work better. Mm -hmm. uh, but Praying for him. he like, yeah, he wanted to like release. He had a whole plan for the end of the year. We were supposed to get like new songs, like almost every week, every other week kind of thing. And mm -hmm. he's only released like one in the last like month, I think. So Boring. he really is just been struggling with some stuff. I will say he did say on the last, I, last Thursday, he did a premiere of new music. Mm -hmm. The premiere and reacted to it the whole video and in all of that he said that the next songs that he has coming are more singing songs not just like, this is more of like a rap kind of a song uh they're more like you know singing stuff which is actually the next song i show you today which all of you will have to wait till another day to see it is going to be a more singing <laughs> song so uh it's just cool that you're like, I keep trying to show you like the breadth of his talent, but anyway, slight tangent there, but yes, I agree with you. Like it's hard. I, I had like one week in my life where I was in a hospital and had something happening to me. We couldn't figure out what it was. The doctors couldn't figure out what it was. Like they were naming like deadly diseases and like mm -hmm. they were practically like, Oh, could it be Ebola? Oh, I don't know. Could it be like flesh eating virus? And I'm like, could you guys land on something? Cause I'm over here terrified. Like, yeah and that was for a week i can't imagine like this bro 13 this years for 13 for him. years bro mm -hmm. like come on that's insane like um my god there's, yeah sorry there no 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 you're good there's uh so i don't know that i'll be able to stop it right on on time for like my favorite part of the song but uh it's it's coming it's towards the end and uh it's like but every time I hear this, I'm like halfway, like we're like halfway through and I'm like, this song is so good. It's, it's incredibly well made. Like it's, I love that he can, like he also sheds the life where like he's saying like, I know that a lot of you say like, you want to be me because of the talent. And I relate to that as well due to like the fact that I'm a singer. And when I do perform and people hear me, they're like, oh my God, you're so great. I would love to have your voice and stuff like that. I would love to like be you and I'm like <laughs> no you don't yeah you know what I mean it's like I would never wish this upon my worst enemy because this type of shit bro is it's like I'm glad that for Ren there's a creative outlet thank mm -hmm. thank god you know what I mean yeah because who knows you know what I mean? Because not only was he just dealing, the same, I was also dealing with like mental health issues, but for him, it was like, it was worse. I'm gonna be, I'm not, not to like compare, but it's like, it was, you know? Yeah. It's just, God, I. Did you ever see, there's a movie from long ago called Bedazzled. With, Bedazzled. Uh, it's with uh, Brendan Fraser and Elizabeth Hurley. Did you ever see that movie? Give me one second. Because it sounds familiar. It's basically he's he's a guy who like gets three wishes from the devil. Like the and Elizabeth Hurley plays the devil. And the reason I'm asking is because of what you just said, where people like they wish they had your like talent <laughs> or whatever. And then it's like, you know, if you were me, you wouldn't wish that. And in the movie, he's like, I wish that I was like I wish that I was, you know, uh, more understanding of this woman's feelings because he wants to win over this woman. And so they grant the wish, but the wish makes him become like this super emo guy and like 
who anyone would be miserable to be around and stuff like that. And so every time he wishes for something great, there's always like the caveat, the thing that comes with it. And it's like, yeah, there's no such thing as just like, oh, you're going to be the perfectly happy person. Like, that's not the way it works, man. Yeah, no. And we desperately wish that that was true. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think with the movies that we saw this weekend, that was a perfect example of what it is. Um, Oh, yeah. By the way, guys, I got a screening pass through the WGA to go see Wicked this past weekend. And Crystal came with me and hasn't stopped talking, texting, singing about it. I can't, I can't. My, I literally, my friend um, Jay yesterday was like, you have wicked fever. And I was like, I do. I do have wicked fever. You got to say that like you're from Boston. You got wicked fever. Uh, I got wicked, wicked fever. fever. Stop playing with me. Like, <laughs> Even when you tried to do Boston, you still yo. came out in New York. I love it. Because I'm not, yo, because I'm not from there, bro. I'm know, not I from there. It's, it's really <laughs> I'm funny. from the Bronx. <laughs> but, like, it's interesting to me. It's like, God, I, I, what, funny enough, and without even spoiling anything, watching Wicked actually gave me that realization. We had the conversation at the bar where it was like, I, I, came to this realization it's like yeah i'm going through all this Mm -hmm. i can't wait to be better to then want to be up there feel me i need to start putting myself out there as if things are fine obviously have a good foundation which is what my therapist told me today get my head in the game (laughs) you know like have a good foundation make sure my health is in check so that i could attend all my gigs and i could you know make it to quiet on, on time that like you know what, like, I'm going to make it a goal to talk to our music, like, um, me and Jay's, like, music conductor. Got you. You know what I mean? Like, I need to, like, I want to yeah. get my stuff together, you know, because it's, like, I'm I'm young. I'm 23. Dude, yeah. I'm not. My, my birthday is within a month. I, I'm January 2nd, okay? I'm maybe 24. Sure, within, like, my worst years was, like, three, four years. Cool. Fine. I can't wait for things to be better. Cause at some point, maybe I will stump in 15 years. I have to get surgery all over again. I have to right. do that every 15 to 20 years every time. Cause that's just how this, this thing works. I have to do it. So it's like, fuck it. You know what I mean? Jump into it. I need to do it. I need to stop saying what if, and if I fail, I fail, get up and try again. You know it's what not, I mean? It sounds like you've been listening to your friend Scott. That's what it sounds like. For real. Because like I was telling my legit. therapist about you too. <laughs> what I said to you. And in fact, for those of you watching this on YouTube who are like, get back to the music already. Real quick. I'm telling you, when we had this conversation, Crystal and I, I looked at her and I said, what do I say at the end of every one of my videos? Mm-hmm. Oh, don't wait for life to be easy, to be happy. And she's like, Fuck you, Scott. Like, no, literally, like, I'm so mad because I'm like, oh my god, it's so, it's so hard because that's what we want. We don't want things to be hard. And I think it's human instinct to want to just things to be easy, but also, where's the fun in that? Yep. Where are your stories gonna come from when you're on the big screen? You know what I mean? If if that's like you know towards like my my performing audience here, my dancers, my actors, my my singers, whatever you want to be, you know what I mean? Yeah. If all things are easy, that... what are you gonna say? Yeah, I'd say ninety eight percent of the people you admire all have a story about the trials and tribulations of getting to where they got. Mm, so girl. that's gonna happen. Uh, guys, I will tell you, and it's probably a little late to tell you now, but I will chapter this video. So if you're trying to jump back to the music and skip over all our conversations, I'll allow you to. Uh, but we're going to get back to the music right now. We're going to listen to the rest of the song unless Crystal <laughs> raises so her sorry. hand and says, no, I want to talk about that. Uh, but I'm going to try to let the next like two minutes play out. Uh, and Crystal, so you know, here comes... I think you'll know it when it happens, but one of my favorite parts of the song is coming up. So. That, be listening. Here we go. Mm-hmm. I'm not clicked on this anymore. There we go. 
Back then, the pain spraying ricochet like a mat tan Hot lead hit the bed that was trapped in Red wing seraphim out of God's grace Cried tears from heaven like clapping Stick pins in the voodoo Hendrix Thick skin, stay humble Kendrick Stay skeptic, checked the biometrics Blood stain, crime scene, forensic Lights on, lights down Fade into the background So down, so down Running from the silhouette of self doubt Bye now, bye now Really should have figured this shit out Lights on Smack down. Let it be, let it be. Quote John Lennon. Click that John got a shot for retention. What does that tell you about the good of intentions? Written as formed in a storm of aggression. Prophets get dropped, imagining heaven. Martin Luther, my hands are dead. A six, six, followed by six, seven, seven. Build them, praise them, bury them dead. I was born to be half a man with half a chance. My heart is in half, half righteous. Half is down and half a gram. Half gold, troubles and thoughts stay darker than a Wukai master plan. Sharper than glass shards, splinter and cinnamon. Cinnamon, irony could kill a man. He makes money when the music lands. Fan, pay me my cheese, rain down parmesan. Followed by seven. So is it still playing for you well? Or did it cut out again? Starting to like lag out for like 15 seconds. I'm like, okay. Okay, yeah, I could see your, your like, brain trying to like hear it. Yeah, I'm like, okay, I'm hearing certain parts. I'm like, okay, I can understand the words. It's just it's fucking with the beat though. So I'm like trying to Got keep you. up. Got you. Well, oh, I, I stopped it right before another really good part. Uh, but I knew you'd love the like the Kendrick bar and the Jimmy Hendrix Period, bar. Yes. I saw it humble like Kendrick. I was like, yeah, yeah, let's fucking go. <laughs> I knew you'd love yeah. that. I love that. Zip. I love it. Um, God. But oh. right now, right now he's about to go through the sins. So hopefully you can hear that uh, without the the lag. Seven whole sins for a self-made Armageddon. Sin one, pride. Pride makes a man kill a man for his ego to survive. Sin two, lost. Lost makes the grass look greener. Crucified trust. Sin three, gluttony. Humans consume and consume. Planet Earth gets a frontal lobotomy. Four, sloth. Rinse and repeat. Reruns, repeat. Time lost. Sin five, envy. That's when one man's win is another man's frenzy. Sin six, wrath, rage, vengeance, killers, psychopath. Sin seven, greed. Greed plants a seed that mm. will destroy us all if we succumb to greed. If we take what we need, then take more than we need, then our oceans will bleed. Still we feed and we feed and we sleep and repeat, then we exile the shepherds and follow the sheep. We inherit the meat. We inherit this world that we bruise and we beat. We inherit this vanity so because of creeds. Inherit the liars, the more the receives. One sin for every one day of the week. He is so good. I love him so much. My God. Like that song... First of all, the song slaps. Like you can't not just like just vibe with the song. That's number one. I'm but currently then, on my way to Spotify. <laughs> yeah, then number two, when he's just like that whole thing he does with the sins at the end, I'm just like, bro, preach, preach. Cause girl. Uh, he is such a genius when it comes to lyrics. I God, I like I've never been a songwriter. So I've always wanted to like learn. I've never known, I guess, what comes into it and like how they come up with these clever words and stuff like that. And it's like <sighs> Jesus, like literally this one what was the name of it? Seven Sins, right? Yeah, Red and Seven Sins. It's from the Sick Boy album. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, like even I. So one of the things he says at the beginning of the song, uh, he, you know, he says onomatopoeia. That's like a, you know, it's it ends a verse that he says, and I was like so impressed that he was able to put that word into a rap like that. And then someone mm -hmm. in the comments pointed out that it was kind of like a double play because he's talking about how he's like lying on the laminate of the kitchen floor or stuff like that or how he's unable to move because he's in so much pain and like he, the way he says it also kind of sounds like on a mat i pee so like on a mat i pee because he can't move mm. while he's also saying on a monopia which is like the genius of even being able to have that reference be made is insane like mm -hmm. the cheat code God. he's so he's so fucking smart it's just i like i my god like 
really hearing this, you know, like he goes more into like what happened to him in the hospital and what he went through and like his experiences as being a chronically ill person, but also a successful songwriter. Mm -hmm. Um, This is when we start talking about disabilities that are very invisible to the naked eye. Because yeah. it's like, he's not that much. I think he's quite literally, I, be, I believe, like 11 years older than me, I think. Yeah, he's in his really? early, early 30s, early 30s. So a little yeah, bit. Yeah, right? Yeah, little, I was like. Yeah, I think he's about 10 years, 10, 10 to nine, 9 to 10 yeah. years older than you. Yeah, like around that age. He's like about, you know, so. I don't know why you always got to make it an age I, thing, Crystal. First of all, I was questioning it because he looks younger. <laughs> You're about to come at me. <laughs> That's like, an inside joke, guys. He's Crystal, young. Like, like, I teased the hell out of her this past weekend because she made some sort of like old man comment for me. And I teased her relentlessly about it for like 15 minutes. I teased her so bad about it. Matt, do you remember Matt from the channel? Her man, Matt. Got in on it too. Like by the time she got home, he was like, "Why are you calling Scott old?" Yeah, I'm like, bro, like, did. she did. Yo, she did. I get that y'all are just like one in the same. I can't, but like, <laughs> oh my goodness, but um, Jesus, he he is um, I love how he incorporates his words, but I also want. Oh, wait, I lost your audio. I lost you. Um, some people have disabilities that'll be as young as I am, but then I'm walking through the street and everyone thinks I'm, you know, I'm fine. Everything's cool. Because I right. don't have a physical, you know, like, I guess, characteristic of being disabled, feel me? Which is, like, weird. Because it's, like, I, I can't tell you uh, how many times like I would be, let's say, at the urologist. And as I'm at the urologist, they're like, like there's like older people around me and they're more like in their 70s, 80s, you know. I'm like one of the youngest people there sitting there. They're thinking I'm waiting for someone and then they, I get my name called. I'm like, right. oh, I'm gonna go. And the look on their faces of sheer like, what like yeah Yeah, i've even had also mind your business like why for real we in new york mind your business seriously mind your business not too much not too much on that like i've had someone come up to me um when i um was doing a basic like a trial run for the device that i had implanted um my mom had to wheel me in a wheelchair because i couldn't walk and a lady stopped my mother <laughs> to be like, she could walk. And I was like, girl, what the fuck? <laughs> it was truly embarrassing because it was like, because she sees me and I get it. Like if you're someone that that might not be educated and, and this is not like a dig at her, it's just some people are just not. And they'll look at their phone and I'm like looking at my phone like on a wheelchair it might look like I'm being spoiled in the moment but Mm -hmm. no I can't walk I'm in this wheelchair because I have to get to the third floor this is a big ass hospital I'm not gonna waddle my way again mind your business (laughs) exactly mind your business like yo the way my mother had to like hold her tongue I literally looked at my mom and I was like don't she was like <laughs> like she's laughing while pushing me and i'm just like i would have been like what just... i would have been like crystal hold tight and i would have pushed you so that you would have gone and then i would have bitched that person out and then caught up to you to keep pushing you bro because it was like hell no what? mind your business mind your yeah business. and it was like i get it you know Nope, mind your business. I don't get it. I mind like I don't like I don't get to do that because personally, why? I feel like if I see someone in a wheelchair, my head is like, they must be something is up. They need it. You know what I mean? Like that's my thought process. But like, 
<laughs> if I see someone in a wheelchair, we... I mind my business. Like, Wait, they, but that's what I mean. Like my head is they like, need oh, they need it. Up. That's what I'm saying. But it was just like so strange to see that like someone thought that it was like, oh, I'm being like spoiled. Like, sure, there's kids like that nowadays and stuff, but it's like it's weird to assume stuff like that. Or like, for example, um, I'll have like older people speak to me and this is like before I met you, this was in my older, my uh, prior choir. And they would talk to me about things that they're experiencing. And I'd be like, oh, I get you. And I would be able to relate. And they're like, but you're so young. And I'm like, that doesn't, that doesn't rule out the fact that I could also be sick. Right. Anyone can be sick. A newborn can come out with so many illnesses, right. whether it, it it could be from just whatever happening because nature and, and genetics or, you know, God forbid, you know, bad habits and stuff right, right, like. Right. So at the end of the day, I think it's just I think it's so important that Ren is speaking up and talking about his experiences as someone who is chronically ill, who needs treatment actively, but is also successful because it's like, we see celebrities and we're like, oh my God, they must have life so easy. Cause we think about our lives and some of us, some, some of us, Jesus, my God, some of us might be, I remember know, my, I remember my first joint too. It's okay. <laughs> Girl, shut up. <laughs> you know, damn well this ain't my first joint. <laughs> Oh Lord! It's not, even, like, it's not even your first joint today. That, that yo, <laughs> let's be so real. I, that was my second. Let's be so, and it's not even done. So like, <laughs> oh my God! But um, some of us are like benefits, or it might be SSI or some sort of other assistance that helps you get through day by day. And we think, oh my God, because these people might not need it, that there aren't like a plethora of other things going on right. in their life, whether that's like familiar, friendship, relationship, romantic, sex, whatever. Right. It's, it's so, so, so bizarre. So it's bizarre. crazy but too. Yeah, Ren, no, I, Ren, I, just, Ren just put on Instagram the other day that he was like showing people like around his like place. And he's like, yeah, everybody mm. else, they get a number one album. They go out and buy a car. I got a number one album and I went out and bought a freaking infrared sauna that i use for treatment for my like autoimmune and uh like uh he's got practically like a hyperbolic hyperbolic hyperbaric chamber in his freaking like apartment and it's like he's like yeah anybody in healthcare like wants to talk to me about this stuff because this is like the highest end coolest tech shit but everyone else in the music industry is like where's your ride bro and he's like I spend it all on my crib. Like he's like, bro, I don't care about that. I want to feel good. Right. And I get that. Like, I think I was telling you when I was like going off about like, you know what I want to do in life and stuff and like my own insecurities. I was like, bro, I want to get money and get into a fucking building that has a elevator. Cause I can't do these stairs. <laughs> it hurts my back. <laughs> like, I can't do that shit. I was literally telling somebody was like, uh who was it i think when i went to the bar after you and me had separated on sunday we uh somebody had asked me like so if you were to be successful and you know what would you do with your money i'm like i'm getting an apartment that has an elevator because ow because it's a walk up i have a walk up to the fourth floor okay you know what it's like to have back surgery and have to go up <laughs> So I gotta tell I gotta tell you something, Crystal. I gotta Whoa. tell you something. There's good news for you. You don't need to be super successful to afford that kind of apartment. That's true. Like but we I'm live just in saying. The city. No, I get that. Hey, listen, preach. Like, <laughs> but I'm saying I don't have like a super luxurious apartment, but my apartment has an elevator. You just gotta like get one <sighs> next one next level up. That's or true. Gotta, I mean this. You got to do what I do. I live, I live on the first floor. That's the way to do that, it. I've always wanted to live on the first floor because that would uh, help me tremendously. Whether only, that's like The only downside to it is, is that I have to have blackout curtains on like every window because mm -hmm. 
if I have my windows open or I have the curtains open, people can literally see inside my living room or see mm. inside my office here. They'd be able to tell I have all this equipment. They'd be able to tell I have like a really nice TV in the other room or stuff like that. And, you know, it's New York. City. Yeah, I know. Like I my neighborhood, you. my neighborhood's all right, but it's still New York City. Like, it's it's still New crazy. York. Like, mm -mm -mm. What? Yo, like no, I still, totally I still, off topic. <laughs> I still stopped a woman from getting murdered in my lobby two weeks ago. So like yo, yo, that that was wild to witness. That was wild like, to witness. Oh my god. Yeah, Jesus. I said Jesus, I said Jesus. Crystal the ring camera of the video of like this. It was it was insane. Anyway. It was crazy. But like <laughs> literally, like I, I don't know. Like I totally get him because like Bro, one of, like, my biggest things that helps me with, like, my pain when I can't, because I'm sorry, I was, like, on so many medications at some point. I'm at a point where it's, like, they were to be, like, hey, take this. I'm, like, oh, do I have to? You know? <laughs> like, I don't, I, don't, I don't want to. I'm scared. Like, but it, like, a nice bath, like, something mm -hmm. that, like, really, 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 like, a hot bath, bro, soothes soothes pain i mean i granted matt would say that like because like my pain would be so severe like matt would come in and he would think i'm taking a shower because it would be like mad mist and he like opens the curtain to see that it's just like boiling hot water like scorching hot but i'm in so much pain that i don't feel it because i'm trying to numb it out mm -hmm. so i'm like sitting there like oh my god this feels great this is this is helping. Meanwhile, he's like, I can't touch this water. Are you okay? And I'm like, D don't please don't turn it down. Like he would try to be like, you're gonna like hurt yourself. I'm like, right. no, no, I'm not. I'm helping myself right now. Get away, like, <laughs> bro. It's scary, but it's like, oh, like me too, bro. Like if I could, my money would most likely go through like mad treatments yeah. to like at least help me not go through pain you know what i mean like because that's really I'm what what yeah bro that's really what like people want to avoid and i'm glad that it's like you know he's not letting the greed funny enough get to him where it's like he's not letting people be like yo where's your where your car at bro like look how you just right? tied it back to the seven sins i love it you just yeah because it's kind of like it goes it goes hand in hand because yep. to me, you know, he, he has the money. The, the successfulness is what I'm talking about. Because yeah. we always talk about, we see like articles and sometimes we see it in commercials and stuff like that of sick people who need help, that need donations and need this and need that and need that, 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 you know? It comes off very like, oh, pity and da, 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 da. We feel bad for them. But then when we think of celebrities or people who are really successful, we almost forget that they're human. And I talk about this all the time because it's almost like they can't have regular reactions the way that we do. Because right. if they do, they get overly criticized by their fan base, people that don't like them, people that do like them, critics, so on and so forth. And then it's like, if they're sickly, it's it's like more like, well, how can this person be sick? And it's like, because it's life. Right. Like, you're not just given things. You got to work for them. Like, sure there's like the nepo babies and stuff which no tea no shade that's right, you yeah. but like <laughs> like when it when it's like somebody like this that we're seeing his talent and we're like blown away by it both singing rap lyrics music his own creativity we tend to forget that these people have their own grievances their own problems and greed Greed is real hard to like ignore sometimes when you have a lot of money, especially yeah. if you come from a place where you didn't have money. It could almost feel like you need to spend. And thank the, you know, thank God he got that that restraint because Lord knows a lot, a of, lot people of people know. don't know what to do. That's yeah, right. a lot of people don't know what to, what to do with that kind of money, girl. No. I surely don't. <laughs> so you'd Bro, be in there. I'm You'd be in there buying elevators for every apartment in New York City, so no one had to feel the pain. I'd be buying warehouses of elevators, and we both know what I would be growing in that bitch. Like, <laughs> I am playing that shit. Like, bro, I, I would like, I wouldn't know, but it's like, 
it's hard to manage money too. So it's like I'm with props you. Props to him. Well, the props cool thing is, is that uh, we're gonna go. I'm gonna take you on a little ride here because we're gonna go from Seven Sins to him singing and getting more of his like musical talent than just his like you know rapping production talent uh, mm -hmm. in the next video. But again, guys, you're gonna have to wait to see Crystal do that because that's not gonna be a joint reaction. We're gonna do it on mm -hmm. a later video. Uh, but. Crystal, I gave you another one to add to the Spotify playlist, Seven Sins. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure you'll be jamming to it because I know you. And I'm sure it'll be <laughs> ever so slightly interspersed with Wicked songs. But we'll Oh, get no, you definitely. There. I'm trying. I'm trying. It's so hard. Like, I'm here talking to you and all that's going through my head is unlimited. You know what I mean? Like, I can't. <laughs> all right. Oh, well, <sighs> we're going to we're going to defy gravity and end this video at some point um see what i did there uh, so guys big shout out to crystal thanks again for coming back and being part of the channel you know we appreciate you and to all of you at home if you made it this far especially this far in this yeah. video you I'm know so that sorry. we appreciate you too um <laughs> you know we get chatty but some of you like it and that's why you're here so um Lots more Ren to come, especially for Crystal. I'm also going to start introducing her to some of the other people that I bring on, like that I have on the channel that she's never heard of before. So stay tuned for some of that too. And hey, in the meantime, remember, don't wait for life to be easy to be happy. <laughs>